Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK using my camera as a mirror. But yeah, um, hi, just a quick video basically for those people who are using the Home Office to get their application sorted out. Well, I don't know if you know, well, you probably do if you are one of those persons, but they are going digital, totally digital. What that means is they're not accepting any more paperwork. Everything is going to be done digitally um, and they are going to give you a code. That code will allow you to go to the DWP, um, get a job, um, open up a bank account, get your driving license and so forth. Basically, if you ain't got a code, you're totally screwed. That's basically what it is. I mean... For those people, EU under the settlement scheme, if they haven't got their paperwork, they're in problems. Any um, leftovers from the Windrush generation, if they don't have their paperwork, they're in problems. And it's like they don't want to have anything to do with people at all. Nothing. Everything is just going to go through a machine. You give them the details. And I, I guess if they've got something on file... Um, it matches it all up, and then if it matches it all up, you're fine. If it doesn't, your problems, you probably won't get a digital code. So, um, so the UK office diminishes physical documents over the next two years. Diminishes, there's, that means over the next two years. By the end of the next two years, there's not going to be any paper documents at all. So no more hard copies. Um it's going to be a digital system by default. As far as they're concerned, they're making themselves future ready. This is what the future is. Future is about going green, no paper, just figures and numbers and biometrics. No, no humans, basically. That is where we're headed. Well, when I say no humans, no interaction with humans behind a desk or behind the phone. Everything is going to be done digitally. And you know how frustrating that is. I wanted to call, um, I think it was Virgin the other day, and the options that they gave me, none of the options suited me. And what do you do? And you try to you try to send an email, and it rejects it. You try to call, you hand it up, you're waiting for ages. And it's just, you know, unable to speak to a human being is so frustrating. Well, this is what we're heading for, folks. No human beings, no personal service, no one to clarify with. If you don't understand it, as far as they're concerned, tough titty. Find somebody who does understand it. So um, the settlement scheme will be digitized, digi digitized, all the immigration credentials, biometric residents, permits for students, workers, their dependents, and right to abode certificates will all be digitized. Digital codes will be future proof. Immigrant status will be more reliable, they say, than certificates, cars that expire and can be misplaced or tampered with. The digital status also denotes when individuals try to access government services, including National Health, DWP. And what they're saying is that once you have this code and you go to DWP or you go to the hospital or wherever you go, they'll know automatically what your status is. So they won't have to ask you any questions. So it's supposed to make it easier on you. Totally screwed. <laughs> You haven't got your paperwork to sort yourself out, peeps. I don't know what you're going to do. Digital checking services will help property owners, businesses and government authorities to verify whether an individual has a right to live, work or access public services in the UK. See? And you better not lose that code. A move away from... Negotiation, explaining, clarifying with individuals, there's been none of that. You don't understand something, there will be nobody to ask. Many of these services are currently in place at the Home Office England in all in hope sorry. Many of these services are currently in place and Home Office England is already issu issuing digital codes 
together with visa paperwork for students, workers and their dependents. A digital only scheme will lead to those will lead to those under the EU settlement scheme being refused accesses to services and housing if they don't have the paperwork. You know, just like the Windrush, it won't be any different for people who have been EU, people who have settled in the UK for all these years, thought they were a part of the UK, didn't bother to keep any documentation. They are going to be in the same problems. I was going to say something else there. Going to be in the same problems as the Windrush people. So the Home Office representative says, we're future-proof, digital by default. So if you're unable, if you don't have access to your property, your documents, unable to prove that you lived in the UK for so many years, you are stuffed in a nutshell. They reckon it's a safeguard the national security of the UK. So if you're not digitally savvy, and you have no paperwork, no one to help you, peeps. The thing is, they're doing immigration lawyers out of a bloody job, aren't they? But I guess immigration lawyers will have to take on a new role. They'd have to take on the role with helping you to complete the forms. Well, not complete the forms, but help you online. That's what they have to do, and that's a big responsibility. Because it would be based on you getting through for them to get paid. And if you don't have all the documents, they could have been wasting their time doing all of this. And you get halfway through and you, you don't have what they need. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the world is coming to, really. This digital thing has just gone totally mad. They reckon digital codes, uh, they're not easy to use. And they're time bound. Oh, yeah, what I meant by that, I've actually put that in. You know when you want to sign on, like you get a new tele, you get a new phone or you get a new computer, and then you want to sign on to whether it's Google or Facebook, and then they send you this code, they send it to your phone. You don't know they're going to send it to your phone. If you haven't got your phone with you, you have to run upstairs, get your phone, find the find the um, the app that or the email address that they've sent the code to. By the time you come down, the bloody it's timed out, and you've got to do it again. Can you imagine like people who are disabled or who have problems or are not agile or whatever? They've got their phone in a different room and it's going to be a nightmare. So all I can say is make sure you have your phone to hand. Make sure you have somebody who's digitally savvy. Don't attempt to do, ap apply for these um, applications by yourself. They might look easy. They tell you that they're easy, but you need to be on the ball. And that's all I've got to say, peeps. Bye-bye.